Good morning everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to uh, deal with uh, sun setting uh, inside uh, Autodesk Revit architecture. And in the sun setting and the sun path uh, uh, command here, you can control how the sun is actually being, uh, you know, placed to uh, relate to your project or to, uh, to relate it to the, to the building you have. And you can choose which day and what type of setting you want to test in the building. I'm actually here responding for uh, one of my subscribers, my dear students, uh, uh, Hazm Usama at Ajman University is actually asking about how to use the sun path and the sun setting. So here we go. It's uh, very uh, straightforward. First, I would really go for uh, you know showing the shadow so you know where is the shadow has actually been placed. And in here, you need to show the sun path on, and I'm gonna accept uh, with the current setting. And when you do that, you're gonna get, uh, you know, you're gonna get the sun. You're gonna get the northern east uh, compass. I will go to sun setting, and in it, uh, you can see that you have uh, four main uh, options here. If you go for the first one, uh, it's the still, and in it, uh, you go for location. It is just a still. Uh, 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 a moment or a day uh, it's uh, or a frame or a single time where the sun you can stop it at a specific time at a specific day at a specific location and see where is the light and how the shadow goes and uh, as a, as uh, related to your building uh, in the in the location you can go ahead and hit this small dots and then uh, it's going to take you straight forward for uh, you know uh, united states so you just go ahead and add the address, so maybe uh, UAE, let me see if I can got the, here, United Arab Emirates, so maybe I need to add more details, so I'm saying Ajman, and search, so here. So uh, that's the that's the current location that we we need. So I'm just looking for Ajman in United Arab Emirates. I'm gonna accept that. So immediately the the computer will get the, the rivet actually get the information and related to the location that I choose, and then it give me the day that I am in right now with the time. So it's an a.m. now. So it's a good idea to make uh, like let's say like seven o'clock and uh, hit apply and in it immediately you're going to see that uh, you know the sun location at 7 a.m and the beauty thing is you can get the exact uh, you know the time that the sun uh, sunrise and sunset on each side and that yellow thing is the path that the sun gonna goes and you can just push forward anytime you want so you can make it uh, I don't know eight exactly uh, that's zero zero hit apply and I'm going to jump to 8 and so on you can see the sun and you can see that the lights on that side and shadow on the other side so if you accept and hit OK you can see and you zoom in you get the exact time the exact location you are in and you can choose any type in United Arab Emirates or any type in the world and you can get uh, you can get the, the, the sun and this the shadow related to that specific location and time and that's useful again to see that's which elevation and uh, getting the lights and you know no, no, it's east let's say you can just hold the sun here and just you know drag it and you can push that to uh, you know uh, to a time where it's like it's going for the uh, uh, west elevation you can see the shadow now you know getting inside the building and that can help you significantly to achieve your uh, sun uh, and lighting uh, studies uh, that you need uh, in the design or other related uh, unit that you study right now. The thing in here is just giving you a, a still a frozen time that you can specify here a specific day and a specific hour. Uh, there is of course there is a previous setting so you can uh, hit a, a day uh, in, in summer and you can get that day in, or the winter one or a spring uh, equinox uh, if you want or a fall one it, it's a preset for the most four famous days 
in this summer and in winter and spring and fall. Uh, if I go to a single day, which might be more useful, and you can choose one day, in it you can go, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know which day, you can go maybe, uh, what day to do, let's go, uh, maybe April or May, I'm going to choose the 5th, and now you can set the time where, uh, you know, you want the, the calculation to start and how it ends. And easily you can go with the sunrise to sunset and you can hit apply. And in it, if you have a look, you know, again, I start now to have, it look like the same thing, nothing changed and it's fixed to the same day. But if you go back to the setting again, you can have this, this extra, uh, extra option to preview the solar study when you hit it and you hit OK, you're going to see that the sun is actually, you know, moving from uh, the first hours in the morning, sun, uh, sunset, uh, sunrise to the sunset, and, and it's too fast, kind of, so you can just, you know, jump an hour by an hour. You can zoom into your model again and print screen if you want uh, for each one of those to show each hours. For example, you're doing this effect of this curtain panel or curtain wall, sorry, that you added, and you want to see how deep the sun goes inside the building because of this full glazing which is this place actually if you want to follow the uh, 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 a more uh, sustainable approach this is facing west so they are really dangerous so now it's uh, it's 8 a.m. so if I jump to 11 12 now we are getting to get more sun toward west uh, now we can see at 1 o'clock we almost have a very few uh, some patches here if you push more now you can get it more obvious and things goes really worse around uh, three o'clock and then four o'clock it's almost that the sun almost the sun is you know getting really a direct uh, a direct you know some patch here inside the building and even when you go further you know it's almost hitting the the, the uh, opponent wall and that's the whole room is actually directly lit by the sun which make those two areas are really in a bad condition and you really need to add some shading devices for them or consider the area of this glazing that you added and that's kind of really you can print each screen you can put camera inside by the way and see uh, and print shot each screen to get uh, a better uh, a better understanding and how of how that uh, you know the the, the sun and the sun uh, it's actually getting inside the building or not and how deep it goes inside the building at this specific day anyhow so that's for the uh, you can use that for the summer day and you hit apply and of course you can have the time or you can you know have uh, sunset uh, sunrise or sunset and here you can see that the sun is actually uh, more vertical and it's actually worse and have longer times to hit the west elevation specifically and based on that you can do your own calculation uh, the third option is a multiple days and you can pick a summer day for example and now you can see it's going to calculate the entire three months for summer and it's from the from the uh, sixth month to the ninth month and you can hit apply and you can see the things is here it's actually decided to create that uh, you know that zone that start up with uh, September so it start up with June and ending with September and if you hit run and it's gonna jump you know each uh, yeah, I think each each hour or I'm, I'm not really pretty sure the setting yeah each hour actually and you can see that uh, you know the Sun is actually moving on that orbit until uh, the September you know move around that I'm just gonna stop that and I can go ahead and change the setting and instead of one hour I will make it uh, maybe each uh, 15 minutes if I can I um, sadly I can't let me go here sunset uh, sunrise to sunset and that push it for one day oh it's the same so it's kind of painful I can go back a single day and I think here I have yeah I have uh, small intervals maybe that's more useful if I want to run uh, something I can I want to just uh, oops yeah you know that may be better for you if you want to record that as an anim animation you know to make the smaller 
to make, to make the uh, time intervals smaller each 15 minutes that give you better animation if you want to you know save that by any kind of uh, animation uh, capture for your uh, screen uh, anyhow so that will give you a, a group of days or even months uh, the lighting one which is the last one is just gonna assume that the Sun comes even from the top right side or you it's gonna come from the top left side uh, I don't know you can also control the azimuth and altitude which is you know where's the Sun actually placed uh, based on the azimuth angle or the altitude angle uh, I don't advise you using this is not an actual realistic one and stick maybe with a single day and you pick the day you want maybe you can do the simulation for a day in summer and a day in winter and a day in spring you know it's that's more than enough if you want to do uh, um, you know uh, a very basic uh, uh, lighting analysis uh, for your design uh, what else uh, that's where you can place the actual place that receive the shadow is actually placed uh, on the street level you can change that to change the location of the shading you can save the setting so you can later on open it in a different files and use it without having the headache of redesign the whole thing anyway thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye